Yo, I know a lot of people have been waiting and is excited about the new MPC 3.5 desktop beta. Let's take a look under the hood and see what's up. So this won't be a deep dive. We're just going to look and see if there were any major changes. I'm going to pull up some VSTs and let's see what I can find. I'm going to go with the Jupe 8 and also it's VST3 compatible. Now let me search for a sound. I'm just going to go with the random sound. Yeah, something like that'll work. All right, cool. I'm gonna set up a tempo. Now, right away, I could see how it worked with the key 37. For those of us who use MPC3 in standalone mode, The one thing that I like about the desktop is to be able to use VST plugins and not have to worry about plugin overload like you would in standalone. Okay, let me close the plugin. Very cool, I'm gonna go over to my packs and pull up a kit. And again, another random selection. Yeah, so I wanna know what y'all think, is it what you expected, the look, the layout, anybody using it? Would you like to see something added? When I get a little beat going, we're gonna look around and see if there's anything different from MPC2.
All right, so just a quick look around the software. Right now we're on the home screen. If you click on arrange, you'll see the arranger show up on the key 37, but not the desktop. So maybe that would come in a later update and it would show here. But here is the track edit, sample edit, pad mixer, channel mixer, sampler, looper. And if you click arrow down, it'll also give you a list of commands. Like if you click main, it'll go back to the main window. Or if you click arrange, it'll go to the arrange window. So it's sort of like MPC2. And if we look around, everything else is in the same place, kind of like MPC2 has it. And if we look at our selections here, it's the same as MPC2. Here's the expansion browser where you can find different kits. So yeah, it's pretty much the same layout. And at the bottom left of the screen, I'm just going to click around and see if there's any major changes. But for the most part, these view options look the same. So yeah, that's about it. I would like to know what you guys think. Oh, and this video is not sponsored, it's not any of that, it's just a quick look. So feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna pretty much wrap this up here, but shout out to the comment section. I see you guys, I hear you guys. I see what you guys are interested in as far as content and tech issues. About tech issues, I'll be doing a video showing you where you can go and get the support that you need if you haven't already found those places. One is Akai. When I first started, I had some small hiccups and they were pretty good at responding. So try them if you haven't tried them already and I'll show a list of other places as well. So yeah, shout out to y'all. Oh yeah, 
like, share, comment, and subscribe.